Okay, welcome to 1063 Comics. This is your week 41 long format video. So I put out a bunch of short videos every week and then I do a long video, which is this one, where we're going to talk about some, most of the 19 books that I picked up. And so what I'm going to do with that is over here, I'm going to add the screen from my CLZ and cover price and there we've got that there now so the first books up I've got two piles first book up is from last week if you watch my video then you know that the store I usually go to the mail lost their one of their boxes, one of their Marvel boxes. So I missed out on some books. So I did my video anyway, and then a couple days later, the box showed up. Ironically enough, it went out to New Brunswick in Moncton, which is almost where I grew up. So interesting. Anyway, so first book up, I got two covers of. I got this Doom cover and then this cover. We'll open up this one. Now, I have a whole video that is also out about this book, the new Deadpool. So this is Ellie. And if you watch the video, you'll see, I did a little bit on it in last week's video because uh, I talked about six or I had a different cover of seven. I don't remember exactly now, but essentially what's going on is in CLZ and cover price, this book is listed as the first appearance of Deadpool. I'm calling her Daughter Pool, so you know, feel free to use that. Issue six, however, is listed as the first time that Ellie gets the Deadpool uniform or costume. I don't remember the wording, but. Watch my little video. It's only about six minutes long. Uh, it'll also be posted with this video. And let's, like, when you see, I what I do is bring up issue six on my iPad and I put it on the screen here and we'll go through it. And you can see how it's, it's crazy that that is not considered a first appearance. Uh, anyway. So what I will say about the Deadpools are watch out for a second printing of issue six that's going to have her on the cover because then that is the whole the the whole book because uh, issue six uh, where is it right here actually still issue six this is the main cover I believe this is the A cover and I don't think there is a cover with Ellie on the front but. The second print will have her on the front, so if you care about such things, then you should probably pick up that book. Then next up we have Venom War Spider-Man. I really like the first issue of this. Um, as events go, I mean, an event is an event now. There doesn't, there is no event that is exciting to me or, whoa, I can't wait to read that. Um, it just doesn't happen anymore because Nothing happens in them of consequence. That being said, I will say that I just finished Absolute Power 4 and DC All In number one. And that has potential to be a fairly important couple of issues, especially the DC All In. It has the, the previews of the Absolute Universe and some other stuff. So that was out last week. Probably still lots of copies of that around if you're interested. But back to this one. The art in this doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. That's cool. Picture there. So we'll see what's going on in this. As I've said, you know, sitting around the spider editor room, I would love to be there because I don't know. There'd be a lot of different stuff happening, I think. So next we got the Ghost Spider Doom cover. Um, 
this, I was talking about art for a bit in the comic shop when I was picking up my books and I was talking about creature commandos because the art is just, it does not look, it doesn't look finished in that book. And that's the main, my main thing with, with some art. Um, I'm not going to pretend to be able to draw comic books. I did a little bit of drawing when I was a lot younger but I would never to this scale. So right away, the talent is there. But when you have a giant, you're, you're Marvel, you, you're the company. And when you're the company, you can pick and choose whoever you want, as far as I understand. So why not have people that are really great? And I just, I don't know if they're doing that all the time or not. So this uh, cover, I'm not, I don't really know why this is in all the big lists. I don't really get it. Let's, let's see what's going on. This is a, a special, so it could have a bunch of stories in it. So maybe one of the stories has to do with that character. Uh, first one is Moses Hildegardigo with George Quartz. Jan Bezilda, Daniel Bailey. I haven't heard of any of these people for artists. This looks like, this first page looks like um, Romos. Let's see though. I mean, yeah, I like it. Whoever did this, it looks good. Ghost Rider looks good. Um, I don't really see that other character in here. Some cool panels there. Um, well, there's an Appearance. I don't know if that's the first one, but so they're definitely in the book right here. Anyway, it's a cool cover for sure. No doubt about that. And the art's good. So then I got a second cover of this X-Men number five. And then I've got this one. So if you notice, so where is it? Down here, I guess. It's issue five. This is also issue five. This, I have this, I added that keynote. You can do that in CLZ, which is great. You just have to change one of the settings so that it doesn't erase all your keys, which I think it should prompt you before it does that personally, but because I always add them in and I forget that I added them because they're just some things that um, aren't explicit enough, like the one was I wanted to track down when Jubilee wasn't a vampire anymore, or how that happened. And it took me a while to find it, researching it. And it was in one of the volumes of New Mutants, number 86 or 87. And so I made a keynote to that effect. And then I erased it by mistake. And now I just keep forgetting to go back and do it. But you can change that setting so it doesn't erase your stuff. So this is the one in 25 you can see it there but what's neat about it is it's the number is misprinted so i don't know if this is going to be a long-term type weird thing let's be honest in this day and age no comic shop is returning books because it's got an error they're all going to sell them for more money i mean do we all know that you know i, I had a similar talk about something at work one time and it just didn't make any sense what the higher-ups were saying it just was like no no we'll, we'll of course they're going to be at work you know they get paid a special rate to be there on that time why wouldn't they be there this is the same type of thing so you're going to come out and say it's a misprint 
but then say, oh, you can return them to us. Well, who's going to do that? The answer is no one. So anyway, now we get into the new books, new this week, which is funny. This cover is just listed wrong in CLZ right now. This is the cover A. It says it on the back. Uh, I thought it might be a glow-in-the-dark cover, but it's not. It's just uh, a cool little kind of feature, although it does look, there's no second coating on it. And you can't go wrong with Gary Frank art, really. Like, it's, it's very good. This has got some great stuff in it already, just looking at it. Very cool panels, like neat stuff. I just finished, uh, it came out last week, I think, Hyde Street. And it was really good. I was not expecting to like it at all. So, so far, of the books I've read, so I read Rook Exodus, Geiger, um, Hyde Street. There's one more. Oh, a red coat. So I read those four, and they're all excellent stories for sure. Probably the the least favorite art of the the bunch for me is uh, red coat. But I do really enjoy the story. I think it's a great idea. Next up, we've got Terminator. This is a dynamite book with this awesome. Alex Ross variant. I think it, I was, we were talking about this today too, where this art was used previously for something. But looks really good. Um, recently, I just watched the, um, it's on Netflix, I think. There's a Terminator show. And it's really good. It's like almost in anime style. But it really goes along with with the the story's really cool like it's a different take on it it's really good i really enjoyed it uh it's it's like a like a one season type thing like typical anime but this is good i like the art you know i i keep reading about this book so i don't know how well it's doing dynamite does weird stuff you can get uh, I think a 1 in 5, a 1 in 10, a 1 in 15, a 1 in 20, a 1 in 25, and so on. And in the back of this, uh, it shows all of the covers. I thought there was more than one. Oh, yeah, here we go. So the last couple of pages is all the different covers that are available. But I'm looking forward to reading that. It looks cool. Next up, spoiler. If you don't want to see, don't look. But uh, this is what it is. So I was trying to remember this guy. I keep wanting to say, I said in the short that it was Metroplex. I don't know if I'm just making that up or not. Um, this is a new story arc. It's got to do with Starscream. Uh, Nothing's really changed here. Still the same thing, same art style, which is good. I like that. I just have a feeling that it's not Metroplex. So who is that? I'll have to look and see. I remember um, that toy that was massive. Transformers has been a good book. And again, the Energon universe, I mean, you can't really go wrong. That's been good too. Really Marvel and DC, I think even if I had to be honest, I would say that Marvel, um, is lagging behind even DC for stories right now. Like All In, um, Absolute Power and All In were actually good. They possibly have consequences and things that are going to happen as a fallout to all this. And sure, it may unwind and reset in 
you know, a year or whatever, but there's going to be some good stories in there. It's not like uh, Venom War, as much as I don't mind Venom War. Venom War, it's going to be three, four, five, whatever issues and be done. And it's like King and Black and all when everything, the whole of New York were symbiotes and now like all these people were dead, but they're not dead. Like what, like what happened? Like what's the fallout? What are the consequences? Zero, none, nothing, no consequences. So big book this week. We'll leave it on this, the one in 25, which I love that cover. This is what the A cover looks like, which I might still get one. We'll see. <clears throat> and then we've got a little absolute Wonder Woman cover there. I think that comes out in a couple of weeks. So here's what the interiors look like. You know, like a regular DC good layouts. No real Batman for a while, but there's a nice picture there. That's cool. It's a thick book. I don't quite know how I feel about the logo, <laughs> to be honest. Just maybe depends on what they do. Like, is it supposed to be covering? Maybe, maybe what the reveal is that it'll actually be just a cover that's on there and he's going to take it off when he feels like he's earned, you know, when he knows what he's doing or something. Because it just seems a little strange. But we'll see when we read it. But it did come with this. And if you watched, or watched, if you read um, All In, then you'll know what this is. So this is the Batman's Justice League Unlimited card. It's pretty nice too. Like it's a, it's a solid card for sure. So that's those two books. I think each one came with one. Um, I don't see one in, in here. I'll have to ask about that because I wouldn't mind having another one. In the one in 25. And then probably the best cover of the week, without a doubt, is this one. This is Kendrick Lim. Amazing. Such a cool cover. There's the A cover. I mean, I don't know. There was another cover too. Uh, so I think there was three that my store had. And that one's not bad per se but and if you've been reading uh, DC versus vampires this is pretty much standard I think the quality is slipping slightly in my opinion of the art uh, it's just getting it's entering into that um, unfinished stage in some of the panels and then some are good I won't show you the very end but there's a little bat might backup story in it but really I mean it's it's that cover it's just so good they have the little Elseworlds logo on the the bottom of it there now too and then we've got amazing spider-man i was talking about this today in the store too how like I, i'm basically going to start to cut out you know x books or whatever books for marvel that i just uh, i don't think are good except for one unfortunately this one i i can't stop getting amazing spider-man because i have all the way down to 100 and it was interesting because he the my friend at the shop he's not a fan of the art in this well I, I like the art i don't mind it i don't like the covers but i like the inside i think it looks good this is supposedly the biggest fight in comics you know i don't know i'll believe it when i read it i just want i want i want the end i want the end of this I won't ruin the end. 
but hopefully this is it. I'm surprised anybody still writes in actually because there's a letter at the back. It's very short really. It ends like slightly after halfway and then there's I think they put all the ads at the back yeah and the letters. So there's no ads in the front of the book. Then we've got Black Suit and Blood number three. I like this cover. Who is this? John Boy. Really? It doesn't look like a John Boy cover, but then when you look at it, it kind of does. I can see in the webs um, that that's his style. I didn't recognize it, but I knew I liked it. So this is the multi-story book, right? So most of these black, white, and red type books are different stories by different artists and writers. So there's the second one. I think it's usually three stories. Possible new character there, Master Venom. We'll see what happens there. Then we've got this style here for the last story. I like these books. So the, for the Electra one, or, or Daredevil, I think, they did like a um, oversized collection of the whole series, which was really cool. So I would think about getting that for like Alien, maybe, or this one, but I haven't seen any of those. Next up, we got Venom, the Doom cover, which I think is cool. One of the better Doom covers so far. And this will likely carry on with the Venom War, although it doesn't say it on this cover. This is a uh, Magno. Doesn't really say, but I'm sure it is Venom War because Venom War is still going on. Haven't heard otherwise. Pretty cool though. I don't mind this art, looks good. Oh, that's a cool page there. That's neat, whatever's going on there. See, like that's a good cover, right? Like I like this cover, but like talking about the Amazing Spider-Man cover, like when you look at this, don't you wanna know what's happening? Like if this was the cover, like they just get rid of this and put Venom and then say this, be like, is he shooting something from him or someone shooting him or what's happening? Like I wanna know. Just interesting. Again, like, I don't know if it's the same, the, the, the persuasive culture that is taking over everywhere, it seems, where, you know, they're in the editor room and no one really wants to say, you know, that's not really good enough. You know, I don't, does that even happen anymore? You would think that, especially in comics, yes, it's subjective, but really, what do they care about? the higher up people, they care about how many things sell. And so in that is going to be, well, if it's good, it's going to sell unless it's amazing Spider-Man and then it's just going to sell anyway. But that's something we've talked about lots. So next up is ultimates, which I've really liked. This story is good. I'm going to get to read all of these books uh, tomorrow, probably, because I'm going away for a couple of days um, before my family gets there. It's just going to be me. And then this In Huck Lee cover is really cool. I like that. So I got both those covers. Then I got this Zombies. I love this little homage to, I think it's 337, maybe with uh, Beta Ray Bill on the front. I like the first issue of this. It was good. It was a little different story. It's kind of more like if Poison Ivy was in the Marvel Universe, maybe. But 
but the art is good so that goes a long way for me you know I'm I'm of this side that I'll put up with a lot from the story if the art is good because I can take my time and look at it and kind of build my own story but if you're missing the art you've got big problems so then we got sentinels which funny story about this so I put all my stuff on the counter and I'm buying it all and I have two copies of this because I have this other copy I'll show you in a second and the my friend ringing the stuff up was like oh yeah I put that back like I didn't I didn't like it so we'll see I kind of have high hopes I think it's a cool idea um, depending on how they do it I don't know about the art it's kind of interesting looking I'll have to take a closer look when I read it but it's not it's not horrible let's just put it that way so it does look pretty good so we'll give it a try and see what the what the deal is with the story let's see what happens so the other cover is this one this all purple one which I just think looks cool I don't know why it just looks cool in person Next up, Exceptional X-Men, the Doom cover. Again, it's not one of my favorite Doom covers, but I've got it anyway. This is a Dotson cover too, which is surprising. This might be some kind of homage, maybe. It kind of looks like something I've seen before. But inside, we'll have more Katie Pride drama, I'm sure. This is one of the ones that will likely get dropped. Um, I just, it, it's just not doing anything for me. The art isn't bad inside though. So we'll see by the end of this one, I'll know. When I did the previews this week um, or for this week, I basically cut back on a lot of the X-Men, but not this one, Phoenix. If you haven't been reading this for whatever reason, this book starts out a little shaky with the first issue because of the art swiping and all that. And I don't know if it's the same person that is doing the art, but the story is really cool. I heard this described as, and I, I agree with this description, I didn't come up with this, but that this is kind of like the old, like volume two of Silver Surfer, the cosmic stories just with Gene and Phoenix. So I do, I do like that. I think that's cool. Some cool stuff here. I do like the art. And I've liked the story, so this one I'll keep getting. I'll keep getting Uncanny, just because I have every other Uncanny pretty much down to 102 or 101. Now, next up, this Wolverine. What I want someone to do, please, is this cover, that character, there is another version of that, like Wolverine... Um, Venom character somewhere. I've seen that in a cover. Um, I think it's like they're sideways and he's there or something. I didn't have time to look through it and see. So this is Kev Walker. Don't know that name, but I, I don't mind this art. It's pretty good. Look, is that is that a special appearance by Lobo in a Marvel book? Hmm. We'll say that it is. Pretty cool though. I don't think the thing goes on to Wolverine till the very end, if it does at all. I 
don't see it there. No, maybe it doesn't. But the first issue was good, so we'll read this like Wolverine's off in the wilderness as usual. And then I think the last book for today, let's cross our fingers and hope that the cover artist here is Juan Ferreira, that he does the insides as well. I don't think so. I absolutely love Juan Ferreira's art. I think it's awesome. And I think he should be working more and more. The art inside isn't bad. This is another one on the chopping block um, between X-Force and X-Factor and Exceptional and NYX and later Laura Kinney and Psylocke and all those other ones. I'll be down to three. I'm going to max out at three. I don't care if it's a mini series or not. It's a cool page. I've been waiting for Man Thing to make his appearance. I'm slowly working my way through. I have the omnibus of that, and I have all of the Man Thing books. Some of them are in really, really good shape, too. Okay, so that's all of them. That's everything, right? Yep. I did an unboxing the other day just as a little quick surprise. I don't think I talked about it at the end of my other video, but this omnibus of Nightfall. It's, it's a thick book. He packed it with a, a dryer sheet, so it smells like a dryer sheet. But uh, that reminds me, I've got to do my feedback for all of my eBay purchases, which I have another one coming that I've been watching and waiting for quite some time to get this elusive cover. I really appreciate everybody watching. I really appreciate if you watch the shorts, and also, please know that the biggest difference that you can make, except for just watching this video, is to hit the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe. Um, I'm just a small channel. I love doing this. I, this is all stuff I would be doing or thinking in my head anyway uh, when I pick up my books. I love talking about comics, so if you want to talk about comics in the comments, that's great. But anyway, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye now.